Hey everyone, welcome back to the Every Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph and this is Firewatch episode 7, I think. Very sorry, but the sudden cut in the previous two videos, I was playing and then I kept playing some more and then kind of lost track of the time and I had to cut one recording into two episodes. So, in the previous episode, we tried to get into that fence-off area, which uh, didn't work out. And then Delilah sent us to some firemen who are uh, burning parts of the forest. So that uh, the fire doesn't consume the whole park. Now, we ended up at this... Um, broken bridge so we have to figure out a way into the ravine I assume and um, and I will go from there Let's quickly take a look at the map how would that work let's see if we move up If we move northeast, we can also get there, I guess, huh? Let's see, let's try and follow the riverbed and then see if we can get in there somehow. We'll uh, move up here. So far, I have to say, I really, really like this game. It's a long drop down. Oh, that's directly into? Oh yeah, that it is. Okay, well, let's try that. Yeah! There's another long drop. Let's um, let's see where we can go from here. Ooh, there is a uh, totem pole. Yep, doesn't look too scary, but um, at least we were able to cross. And uh, let's see if we can find these firemen somewhere. Oh, hopefully they're uh, up here somewhere, maybe having dinner. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no, I'd make a weeblow do it. <laughs> uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Alright. Let's see if we can find something in one of these shelters. It doesn't really look like it. Ooh, there's a bear trap. There Let's report everything. Here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Could I, by any means, take that? No. There's another missing person's flyer. Oh, that's the same one we already found. 
Yeah. Uh, let's keep this one. I don't know if I already have one, but... It's not like someone is gonna want to use that flyer for something. The firefighters are gone. Oh, come on. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, I'm 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? Now that's a real mystery. <laughs> Let's uh, smell it. Mm. All right. Uh, do I want the toilet paper? I guess not. Just throw everything all over the place. Huh. Hey D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. Mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> They're running a research site out there. And he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh, that's a good question. You and I aren't very interesting. Well, you're not. I'm infinitely complex. Why record us? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Alright, so this is from a squad... or two squad boss Grant Carson. Uh, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of that region. I hold them... Oh, I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Alright, well, that note isn't very useful to anyone here. Uh, anyway... But what does my eye spot? An axe. That's gonna be used to um, get through that fence, I guess. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, so um, where are we now? Let's take a quick look. 
so we can follow along and see if we can cross the river at a different point that should be splendid so we're heading north uh, where was my compass yeah that's that way all right let's um start heading that way then Let's clear the blocked trail. Whoa, go Henry! Such a violent guy with his axe. Henry the Axe Murderer. That's how they used to call him. Yeah, good thing that um, good thing that tree fell down um, across the ravine and not on top of us, you know. All right, where are we heading now? Heading east and then all the way back up there. Okay. Are you there? I I had a thought. Uh oh. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed, or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back. In and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. oh fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the... Oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Well, you could tell me what, um, what's up. Sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. I guess it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just... Wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, 
that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Okay. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? <laughs> Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Uh, okay. And suffice to say that it's starting to get a bit strange, right? What is she talking about? Cut, uh, Cottonwood Creek. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. What? Wedding ring? Why is my wedding ring on the table? Of course I'm gonna keep it. But I thought I wasn't supposed to. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Oh. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Yeah. <laughs> this is so strange, all the stuff that's happening here. But, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really, really enjoying, like, the mystery of it all. And now, I have to figure out how to get there. So, um, we're gonna go in the wrong direction for about ten times again. And, um, yeah. Head south, at least. Uh, so that's that direction. We're having a hike in the forest. And who knows, we'll meet Delilah maybe. She promised us a wonderful afternoon. So, uh, yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll find some uh, bras and panties again when we get there. Is this the uh, correct direction? Oh, it is. Hey, look at me go. Did I just say me go? Uh-oh. I hope it's not the me go, because then... I don't have enough of a brain for them to in to be interested, actually. This is going to fall on my head. Nope. There's a lot of smoke. Uh, yeah, which m would make sense since there's a fire going on, Ralph. Uh, I mean, Henry. Alright, over the river and then to the right. Oh, we have to jump here again. Go, Henry. Are we there yet? Okay. Did I take the note? Yes, I did. 
One chance to die, yeah. Uh, just hope that doesn't happen. Just hope that doesn't happen. Alright, so is this the creek or are we supposed to go a bit further south? Alright. Oh, where was south? So There is actually a road leading to the south. Beats uh, running through the bushes. Is that the fire? I'm gonna get caught in the fire, right? So, um, I'm actually at Cottonwood Creek, Delilah. Where are you, huh? What's all these sounds that I keep hearing? And uh, when am I supposed to report that I'm there? That doesn't do much. Ooh, I saw something. Or was that the flapjack fire again? Okay. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Um, okay. Where is that box? It should be... Uh, right in front of me somewhere, right? Are we now going to leave messages in uh, in these boxes? Please tell me you have a gun in there. Ooh. I 
got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. That makes two of us. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I see. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... F fuck, are you, are you... is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia, maybe it's happening to me and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry. Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. That's true. Sweetie, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. Uh, yeah. You can't even give me a second to call you back? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. That's not what we agreed. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I... I I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Yeah, that wasn't very smart, huh? Fuck Delilah. Fuck indeed. Fuck Henry, indeed. fuck Delilah. There is a lot of fuck going on. Um, let's uh, speed it up a little bit. Zigzagging through these trees. Hey, what? Something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. 
Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. <sighs> Fuck. How about you don't do that again? Oh, man. Let's, uh... Keep that this time. There's a new granola bar. I thought I ate that one last time. <laughs> Nothing suspicious here, just, um, uh, well, going in the wrong direction. Why is this game so difficult? I think my compass is definitely messed up. So finally I'm on the right trail. Hey, what do you know? I could have known that was the wrong direction, right? I've only been here like 10 times. Let's not do too many of those physical exercises, huh? How about that, Henry? Do you agree? At least this place looks familiar. So yeah, we should be getting close to that fence again. I hope. Actually, are we? Because I think we're... Oh my... Oh my freaking god. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say anymore. Like, this game can't be that hard, right? <laughs> oh man, it's not even funny anymore. Yeah, the title of this episode definitely is going to be Running Around in Circles. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Alright, here we are at the fence again.
And because I've been running around in circles, I'm going to have to end the episode right now and leave you with another cliffhanger. So um, we'll be going into this area in the next episode. If you enjoyed me messing up my map reading, by all means hit the like button. I won't hold it against you if you hit the dislike button. And if you want to follow along, if you want to finally find out what's inside of this fence, then hit the subscribe button as well. Don't forget the bell icon. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.